だけどね。Hello guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an intro for beginners. So people who are new to um, After Effects may want to watch this, so they can make an intro quite easy. So through this, we're going to be going through about a couple of things: how to make a, a background to go with it, and also how to um, animate text coming in and out, fading in, fading out, or well, not fading and out, but um, coming in and coming out. So first off, when you open After Effects, I'm just going to choose a new composition. It's going to be using the HDV HDTV 720 by 29.97. Um, so that's that one there. So it's the only HD one, uh, well, decent HD one. And I'm just going to add nothing else and just click OK. So once it's done this, you're just going to go to Layer, New, Solid. Make sure it's black and click OK. Once that's um, sort of highlighted down here, you're going to go to Effect, Generate, and Ramp. And what this does, uh, as you can see, it brings this gradient, so it's black, grey to white. And um, we can mess around with this and add our own. So, at the start colour, I'm going to be choosing a, a pink, so a bright, quite a bright pink. I'm going to use these. You can, if you want to use the same colours that I'm using, it's F F O O D eight. And the second one is going to be this a darker purple, so um, C five hundred C three. So as you can see now, you've got the light to dark, but I want to add something else. And by the ramp shape, I'm going to choose radial. So now we have this sort of um, light here to the dark coming around it. So that's quite a smart little thing to do. So after that, that's your background sorted. Very easy, very straightforward. So now I want to go to effect. I mean, sorry, I want to use my text tool now because I want to add some text. So the horizontal type tool, you can also choose can hit control T. I'm just going to choose this here. And I'm going to click and it'll show me this. And hit over in the um, characters over here. Um well you're going to be choosing the font and the colour. So I'm going to be choosing white to grey. Um but if you can't see this on window, make sure um on the workspace just click standard or you can reset standard if you've lost a couple of stuff. But um so Make sure you once you've clicked the text tool, um, you just want to type what you want. So I'm using font birth for hero, size 177 pixels. But you want to might you want to use bigger, but mine just fits. So I'm just gonna add my company. Like so. So I'm just gonna highlight this now and then I'm gonna use the um selection tool and I can just move this over to the center. So about there. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, so now there's a couple of things we can add that are really easy. If you want to come up to animation and making sure you're on the text, animation, apply animation preset. So now this opens all the presets that you get with After Effects. Um, so I'm going to go to here, check the down arrow, and choose presets. Preset, sorry and then it will bring up all the presets you have so there's a couple I've downloaded but there's some more here and the first one I want to use is movement and I'm going to choose a 3D um, yeah, 3D swing so just click OK right where's the text going you're probably thinking but if you drag along the timeline you can see here now the text is flying in and like so and then it joins back up at exactly about a second so now the text is back again. So as you can see there, if I play it, text comes in, whew, and it comes. If I play it again, so literally in a matter of a second, there's your text. That's pretty smart. Flies in like that. So that's a cool little thing. Um, and say at three seconds, I want my text to go. All right. So this is really smart preset. So if I go up to animation apply animation preset and I click the down arrow and I choose presets um, and I choose text and then I choose animate out right now this is a really smart one fade out by character right so watch here making sure whatever you clicked because it'll fade out from there if you watch now every single letter fades out 
and this is a really smart thing to do depending on the size it can be quicker slower but you can mess around if you want it but yeah you can just choose some of the things down here to make it quicker but I like mine it's not bad at all but now as you can see now we've got um, this coming in here coming down and then fading out so that's a smart little thing so um, yeah um, so now I might want to add a glow to this text make it stand out a bit so I'm just going to go to effect stylize glow Boof, look at that how smart is that but say you don't want the original colors if you choose here on glow colors I'm going to choose A and B and what this does now is makes I can choose the colors I want it to be so say I want a two two light blue so F F F F F all the way yeah so now that one no oh, what the hell it's done anything let me do it again oh sorry um I didn't click it so O O C six C F F and now it'll bring a blue to it and if I do the exact same but I'm, I don't know what it is I'm I'm just gonna make make it a little bit darker. As you can see, we now have got this like lovely blue behind it. So you want this to stand out a bit more. The glow intensity you can maybe increase or drag to bring out more. So say I increase this to maybe a four. See, we have this lovely like outline coming on here, and also um, you can color in. Say you don't want white, and you've chose oh I don't want the color. You can choose over here, or you can go to effect. Then you can go to um, style. Like, no, sorry, generate and fill. And then we can fill the colour with what we want. So I might want to make this a a blue to go with it, but maybe this um sort of colour here. And I choose OK. So now it stands out loads, but I don't really want this to be honest, so I'm just gonna delete that. So if you don't want it soon you can just click delete on your thing. And that'll take me back to this colour I've chosen for the glue. So that's a really smart thing to add. So now if we watch it, we'll have our text fly in and it's all gonna be glowing like that. So nice text coming in. So then it all comes into place, and then it'll stay. And this is obviously going a lot slower. As you can look on the timeline down here, look how slow it's going. A second's taking like a minute, so because this isn't rendered. So once it gets to three seconds, bam! As soon as it hits it, this is all going to fade out, and this will take a while. So there we are. So as you can see, it's fading out. So say this is what you want, and you the only you know to make it an actual video, you can't just save it. You're gonna have to find where the whole text has disappeared. So mine's gonna be at five and a half seconds. So if you grab this little thing here, and it's called work end area, area end, you can drag this down to four seconds. So now when it renders, it doesn't render to the part where there's nothing going on. As you can see it ends here. Maybe we can just drag it up a little bit. Save a bit of time. So we can go, S fades out and it stops. So if we watch at the start, and the text comes then after a while we'll be watching it you know, it's still a bit slower than usual and then it'll start to fade out as soon as it hits it as you can see like that so that's it um, very basic people might watch this and just say oh, well that's too easy but this is literally for people who've just you know opened after effects and doesn't have a clue so anyway guys um, if you want any new tutorials you know anything um, new you know maybe want me to do some of the tutorials to help you out um, you know leave a comment below um, and I hope you subscribe guys um, yeah so nearly at 100 mark now so anyway guys thanks